Hey, welcome back to our Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial. Um, this time we'll be covering how to do custom graphics, or how to make them, or whatever. So, let's say I want, oh, I don't know, let's say I want to change what this block looks like. Now what I would do is I would fire up paint.net, and then just open it up in here. The path to mine is... C Drive, and then Sumar Bros X, and then, and then Graphics, and then, and then, let's see, it's Block, and, and then, once you get here, or, th this will also work on, you know, if you want to change a background, or, or, you know, a background, background, or, or, an NPC, this will work for, um, everything, not just blocks. Once you find out what block you want to change, you just find it in this this here folder, and then you click on open. Like I said, this uh, everything that I do in this video should be the same for NPCs or really anything else you would want to edit. So I'll just zoom in here. Now, keep in mind that this does work with just fine with, you know, GIMP and and Photoshop and hmm maybe even it should work with even just regular MS Paint so you know I I just personally I just prefer Paint.net because I don't know I I just I just do There, you see, I made a yo block. Now I'll just go to save as. And now what you want to do is you want to, and make sure you do save as, not just save. Now what you want to do is you want to go to where your level is saved. So mine is Super Mario Bros. X, and then World, and then whatever. And now make sure that the name is exactly the same as the name of the block that you want to replace, like the extension and everything is the same. It has to be a dot gif or it won't work. Um, and then you just you just hit save and then, and then you know stuff. And now if you did that and then you just kind of reload the level. Now these are yo blocks. See it says yo yo. Let's let's make a pyramid because pyramids are cool. Yo. Oh, it's a pyramid. Yeah, so, so, so that's that. Now, if you're editing, uh, if you're editing like NPCs, then you may notice that like this box right here will, like, I have the Goomba open. This box right here will be his first animation, and this box right here will be his second animation. I hope that made sense. Anyways, now, if you'll notice, some uh, graphics have these sort of silhouette files. Now, basically, what you want to do is just take your um, edited graphics and then you want to basically redraw them in here, except everything that you want to show up, you make black and everything that you don't want, like, everything that you want to be transparent should be white. So, I'll just select what I usually find easiest, because as you can see, I edited this to make it, you know, like he's sort of wearing this sword, like, behind his back or something. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, so what I usually like to do to make this easy is select, um, select the whole thing and then copy it. And then paste it here. And then, um, make everything that I want to be transparent white, like I said. So I'll just, in this case, I'll just make all the black areas white. 
And then everything else, I'll just make black. I'll turn the tolerance up, and then yeah, there we go. So, so now what you'll want to do is you'll want to save these once again where your level is saved. Make sure the name is exactly the same as as the graphics file itself, and it has to be a .gif, .gif, .gijo. And now, when we come back here and then reload it, and then we open NPCs, then as you can see, he has this sword thingy behind him. Okay, so now let's test it out. Here we are. I'll just, I'll just get that, cause why not? Here's our Yo Blocks, and here's our Goomba. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's kind of the base of um, graphics editing. I think there may be some more like, um, more sort of like more advanced. I don't know, like advanced inside of advanced stuff that we may cover in another video. I kind of have to get that organized. But for now, that's all. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. There may be, like I said, another advanced with an advanced graphics video in the future, depending on how I get that organized out. But yeah, thanks for watching.